I just saw the movie Death Wish, and it's funny how current events in the current world can sort of change your perception of fiction. Um, if you're unaware of what Death Wish is, it's a Bruce Willis film about a gentleman who is a doctor, a surgeon, I think, and his wife and uh, teenage daughter are at home, and a home invasion happens um, because they decided not to go out to dinner and they ended up having to stay home. And during the home invasion, his wife is killed and his daughter is put into a coma. And then in as the film follows, he sort of decides that he wants revenge on the guys who did it because it seems like the police are not doing enough. He gets himself a gun that he steals from a kid who comes into the ER with a gun in his pocket. And then he proceeds to take out criminal elements. Uh, this all takes place in Chicago. Uh, and I'm just not sure how I feel about it. So on one hand, it very clearly illustrates the gun violence problem in Chicago and the violence and criminal problem in general, which has always been a problem. Uh, they have a lot of actual newscasters from the Chicago area who are pretty well known, who do morning shows there, who are talking about real statistics, about the people dying, about all that sort of stuff. And I thought that that was a really good way to like drive that home. But on the flip side, in this sort of current political climate, I wasn't sure how I felt about the fact that what my hero did was got a gun and shot people. Not to say that it's not a thought that has crossed my mind, although I'm not a gun person in general, but it was kind of strange to sort of see that and to realize that Bruce Willis has been a gun-toting hero in a lot of films that I enjoy, and it hasn't bothered me, and yet this one sort of did. And I don't know if it was the way he went around getting guns, or if it was like the indication that like the gun was the thing that would save him, and I didn't really like that message, because he did buy guns with the idea of protecting his family. Somebody came in and broke in and he shot them. And so like, clearly that message was on point and it's maybe not a message I agree with, which was maybe my difficulty, but I also thought that the film addressed in a real, weird, a real way the violence in Chicago and made it obvious that this is something that happens and I thought that that made the film more realistic. So I just ended up conflicted. Overall, I thought the film was, from a story standpoint, pretty run-of-the-mill. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, no crazy action sequences either. So it wasn't necessarily the greatest film. But I did think that it was an interesting commentary. And if you like Bruce Willis, you will probably enjoy this. Spoiler alert, the film does have a happy ending, which is nice. There's also a lot of debate on whether or not a guy should be able to take the law into his own hands that way, that kind of vigilante justice idea. But aligning this character a lot more with the Punisher than with Spider-Man. Uh, clearly a similar arc. In fact, he like wears the hoodie and they call him the Grim Reaper and I thought that the Punisher motif was strong. And it's just one of those things where I'm not sure how I feel about Frank Castle in the current world. Like, Often when I read the comics, you do feel that like he's justified in what he does. It definitely you understand what he's doing, and also he's clearly fighting a criminal element. But does violence beget violence? I guess is the question. And would they be coming back at you if you weren't coming at them? Who knows? So yeah, I would give this movie probably two and a half stars which I know is rough, uh, I just didn't feel like it delivered on the flavor that was promised in the trailer. It went a very different direction, and just overall it wasn't a very strong film. And if you have seen Death Wish and you have thoughts, or you've seen other films dealing with guns and gun violence lately and you have feelings on that, let me know in the comments because I would be interested to hear what you have to think. And I'll see you tomorrow.